Tan Man and I rebuilt the duel in the desert. Let me introduce you to my new rivalry rebuild series. The goal is simple, win it all within five years. But to get there, it's not gonna be so straightforward. We could only recruit from our home state of Arizona and then this wheel randomly chose another state. As we continued to rebuild, the duel in the desert was inevitable. For our annual matchup, we spun a challenge wheel to spice things up. Oh, that's picked, baby. Give me that. No! Let's go. That was too... <laughs> that, was, that was risky. In the offseason, we cooled down, took a breather, played some old-fashioned mini games with major roster impact. Let's see what he goes with on the next... <laughs> no. <laughs> no way. Let's go, baby! Be sure to soak up this rebuild and see who comes out on top. This rivalry just means more. It's over a century of battles in the desert. It's for a state that bleeds maroon and gold. It's about every other sun devil who came before for us and every sun devil that will come after us. This brotherhood is strong. So what we let Heisman winner Jaden Daniels transfer to LSU. So what we are on the losing side of the desert duel series. Why not us? The rebuild starts today and surely the territorial cup belongs in Tempe, Arizona. Forks up, baby. This rivalry isn't just a game, it's a lifestyle. Badly on the gridiron for the red and blue, it's about defending the manhood of Tucson. The kitty cat family runs deep. Even after spanking our rival last year, putting up 59 points against ASU, you, you would think the Sun Devils would hide in a cocoon, but no, we're still talking. And somehow we are still the ones being counted out. But the beginning of a championship run starts here, and the cup is staying in Tucson. Bear down, boys. Arizona State, three-star prestige in year one. We got some guys here we can work with. Sam Leavitt, redshirt freshman quarterback, 76 overall. Looks like he's got star dev. We'll be building around him for the years to come. Very top heavy here at receiver. A lot of seniors, as you can tell, so we're going to need to replenish that quickly. Skimming over the defense, no one really going over a 75 76 overall range but we can jump down here into the safety position you see shamari simmons 84 overall and then kamari wilson 85 overall they're upperclassmen so we can't expect many more years out of them so the defense is a ragtag bunch but we have this young dude jamon tap i can't wait to tap into him as for arizona honestly the offense looks pretty stellar the defense though looks absolute cheeks at quarterback though i'm kind of a big fan of this quarterback room we got noah fafita even though he's very small we got anthony garcia for the future as well as Braden dorman we've also got a pretty decent running back room as well as this Kedrick Riscano guy but there's like not a single soul on defense that looks pretty decent for the future so defensively we need to recruit a crap ton of good players it should help though that we have three studs for this season we got Tatero McMillan I think it's how you pronounce it Sicario Davis six foot four is a corner mother of god and then we got this Jonah Savina guy I think he's Hawaii she looks like a stud now that we have previewed our rosters it's time to get into recruiting and that leads me to the first challenge of the video we can only recruit from our home state so Tamman and I will be battling battling it out for the Arizona pipeline. And then we only get one other state to recruit from. This is my fate. The wheel has determined I get Florida. That is a cheat code. And now it's time to see what state coach is going to be recruited from as well and we got oh that's not too oh no nope, it's rhode island south carolina is right above it oh we got shafted that's so bad so as you saw the wheel has spoken we got florida which is a really ideal state it's between florida california and texas in my opinion as the three best states to recruit from we're going to get a lot of speedsters to choose from and offensive linemen surprisingly at the top of the list as for tanner rhode island does not have a single soul that plays high school football apparently so we have nobody to recruit from in this state so we're basically basically gonna be limited to just Arizona. So a kid like this quarterback, Gordon Kendricks, who we're number one for, he's a musket. There's plenty of guys here that we can build a really good roster with, but we really don't have much room for error since we can only recruit from this state. Sun Devil needs, we have a lot of them. QB, running back, receiver, offensive line, need to pretty much workshop this entire team. I mean, look at the entire defense. It's a lot of red. Our first batch of 35 recruits, I went down the board and found no gems except this one guy. He is the chosen one. Andre King out of Gilbert, Arizona need this Juco transfer. Unlike Tan Man who stuck with the curse of Rhode Island, I got Florida. So there's a lot of four-star talent to choose from. Got to start making ground against some of these other top schools that are going to be going for them. As for the Kitty Cats and Coach Stanton, we need a quarterback apparently, which I don't really think that's big of a need. And then we need running backs very, very much. And then defensively linebackers and some secondary it looks like. But even though quarterback's not the biggest need, this Gordon Kendricks kid is by far our top priority on the board. We did find some gems down here too, but 
but all in all, we don't have nearly as many options as a state like Florida, so I can't really be that picky. Not surprising at all on the all Big 12 first team and second team list. No Sun Devils, especially after the Garbanzo season they had last year. But for me, I am lucky enough, and I get this to Terrio McMillan, who's six foot five from Hawaii, who is on first team preseason All American. Anybody on second team, or is it just that cat? No, it's just to Terrio. He's a baller, though. He is going to get a lot of catches. Forks up for year one. We start the non conference slate against Wyoming. Then we take on Mississippi State. Going into the Big 12 conference, ranked teams across the board. This is a tough conference. And then, of course, at the end, it is the duel in the desert. As for me, we got to play New Mexico, who's apparently a rival week one. Then we got the Coyotes. Uh, okay, there's not. Oh, Mormons, of course. And then you guys saw we got to end the season against the Sun Devils. That is going to be an absolute showdown. Cannot wait for that. But I don't think our schedule is very challenging at all. Somehow, some way, we're in the lead on Gordon Kendricks. Sorry, Tam, man. Yeah, cue up the cigarettes after sex. I, I don't know what the issue is here. I'm guessing it's because I can't put any more than 50 points into him. My only hope is that his interests align with what I'm really good at as a school. Because if not, then we are screwed. One week already in the book, Clayton Smith is proven why he is an upperclassman looking for some accolades. Three sacks, six tackles, one TFL against Wyoming. Watch out. Week three against Texas State, Prince Dorba on the other side of the line. Player of the week, three sacks, six tackles. Surely we won against Texas State, right? Wrong. After Squeak went out against Wyoming 10 to 6, we lose to Mississippi State and then get smoked by Texas State. As for me, things are going quite splendidly. I mean, we beat New Mexico, our rival, the Foxes, and then we had a close win over the Wildcats in a battle of cats. So 3 0 starts. And on the trail, we picked up our first commit of the video. Tyler Costanzo, two star gem. Really wasn't hard to bring him home to Arizona. And we're also going to get maybe his older brother or something. Maybe they're twins. Jimmy Costanzo, offensive tackle from Arizona. The top priority on the board, though, is still Gordon Kent. Hendricks. We're in third place. I'm not feeling too confident. Maybe Coach Stan can work some magic, but I think he's going to become a Sun Devil, unfortunately. Man, where in the world did Washington come from? They sprung into the lead, and they're going to steal our boy from Chandler, Arizona. I guess he didn't want to stay home. He's going to the Pacific Northwest. Yep, he's gone my last second visit. Couldn't change his heart or mind. He's a Husky. Well, balls. This sucks. We lost to Utah by a bazillion. We also lost to Texas Tech, and then we lost to the Mormons. The defense the last three weeks has been been pitiful, man. And on the other hand, for the Sun Devils, the offense is non-existent. Where do they vanish off to? We can't even muster up more than two scores a game. Getting blown out. The back starting to hurt. Utah just did us dirty. And now we got Cincinnati and the rest of the Big 12. Probably not going to see many more wins than the one we have right now. There is some good news, though. Recruiting has been just about as good as it possibly could have, you know, besides the fact that this Gordon kid went to Washington. I'm going to keep him on the board. There's a chance he could flip on signing day. I'm going to hold out hope, but this Anthony Lacombo kid might go to Washington too. So I'm going to cross my fingers that we can somehow keep this kid home. For my board, would you believe it or not? We still are yet to land one stinking guy. I mean, Dylan Roos, he's getting there. Andre's king on the verge of committing. But yeah, losing a lot of games does not go well for prospects when they're scouting out your school. They don't want to be part of no dumpster fire. Finally, some good news for this one in six bleak season. Earl Sims, our first commit from Lake Butler, Florida. Got a physical build, 94 speed, 94 jump, 80 catching across the board. Yeah, I think our young quarterback can work with this if he doesn't hit the transfer portal first. Two wins is nothing to flex about, but after getting smacked down and only scoring three to 15 points, over the last few, we come into Oklahoma State's territory and drop 49, beating them 49 to 41. That was insane. Sam, I am like Green Eggs and Ham. He dropped five touchdowns, 418 passing yards. And then Cam Scadabo cooked 147 yards on the ground in a touchdown. Where were these guys all year long? As for us, I don't really have any other word besides depression. I mean, we just can't stop anything. Like our offense is scoring 30 plus per game, but we're giving up like 35 to 40 every game. So it's kind of the inverse of what's going on with Mr. Sponge. On the Trailer for Coach Stan. We got him, baby. Anthony Lacombo instantly becomes our best commit of the entire class. Far and away, four-star gem. We also picked up some other kids, but it's a bunch of two and three stars, so it's not really anything too notable. But I'm kind of wasting hours like every single week now because all these kids are either at positions that we don't need or they just simply suck too much. So we're kind of in a weird situation right now where we're just bleeding hours. Andre King could very well become the king of this Arizona State defense if we just get him into our system and coach him up. So yeah, two commits through eight games, not looking 
looking great on the quantity side, but we're going ahead and making some progress on three stars. Unlike our friend Tam Man, we got Florida Man running wild out here. Plenty of guys to pick from. Even this late in the season, I got more guys I can continue to add to my list that are three stars and maybe some gems in the rough. At least we have some coach points to spend though, and I feel like it makes the most sense to upgrade our career since Coach Stan is not too stellar here. I'm just going to go ahead and get all of these to tier one. So now every single thing is at least tier one besides obviously kicker and punter, which I'm not really concerned about. And Chad Butters is going to follow suit. The only way he can continue to butter up recruits and get them over here to Arizona State with a losing squad is to at least pump this archetype. After shocking the world against Oklahoma State, we got blown out again. UCF was on a mission this season, only one loss. And that was the story the rest of the way out. Dropping big games here to Kansas State and BYU. It's going to be a pedestrian-like duel in the desert. Two teams underperforming here in Arizona. Honestly, kind of a disgrace over here having Arizona and Florida access, only landing two guys, and then we're finally slowly but surely getting ahead on some three stars. But wow, this is not the class I expected to start with. So Portal's going to need to come through in a big way as well. A couple weeks later for the Cats, and we still suck. I mean, we beat the Cougars, so I guess that's nice, but then we bounce back with a loss. So we're 4-7 and seven right now, 2-7 and seven in the Big 12. Definitely a big wolf. I don't really think there's a silver lining for me either. The only guy left on our board is a three-star kicker from Arizona, and we had to get some one-stars. It's a very desperate situation in Arizona right now. I'm not a big fan with how things are going, but at least in the transfer portal, we can go after whoever we want. It's that time for the Territorial Cup in year one. Who's going to take it home? It's not that straightforward either i've created 15 unique gameplay challenges we'll spin the wheel see what we get and then have to abide by that in gameplay winner of the 1v1 will get 10 attribute points to spread across their roster sort of like an incentive obviously to win the wheels got a lot of fun and wacky stuff and you'll see it in action each time we play against each other and it has determined a fourth down game is upon us the rules are pretty simple in the fourth down game challenge we have to go for it regardless of the position on the field no punting no field goal attempts so if it's fourth and 39 you gotta go looks like we're in tucson arizona home of the wildcats you ready to get this sun devil beat down <laughs> no we're we're winning this i've got full confidence in the squad i think scatabo is going to be running it up and down this field man the red shirt the man the myth the leave it Let's, ride. Let's let the games yeah. begin. <laughs> Third and 11, and you know what the challenge. If I don't convert, I have to go for it on fourth down, and we're not in a favorable position. Oh! Over the middle, it's oh, bad. bad. It's that's getting a little yeah, loud baby, in here. My audible. Oh, Boom, he's yep, there we go. Bad. Oh, yeah. Wide open down what? the seam. Uh, Touchdown. Uh, I'm perplexed. I don't know what happened. Fork fans, put the forks up. Come on. There we go. Dang. Yes. Right Perfect. to Krosky. I'm waiting to see how you leverage your uh, first team All-American out there, huh? McMillan? Yeah, we'll see. We, we, we like to spread the love around here, so we're going to go a little jet touch pass to the outside. Oh, gosh. Is he fast enough to get the corner? Yes, he is. Oh, Let's you got go. the corner. Fakey fake. Circle. I'm throwing it. I don't care. Yes. Oh, what a dive. Got he's got it. No. Touchdown. No. Duke. Oh, so close. He he loves these motion. There loves this stuff. There we go. Okay. That's, Plug it. Uh, actually, to the corner? To the corner? Yeah. To the car, let's We're go. so slow. He's open. He's got to be. Where'd he go? Oh, oh, no. In front. no, no, pick it. <laughs> oh! Hey, what? Oh, what? Dude, you got no. <laughs> that's that's unbelievable. That's shocking. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, big third and nine. You know what's looming? Fourth down comes after third down. It does indeed. That is math. Feeling good though. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, there it is. Get oh. It. Catch oh, it, yes. I love you. All right, we're clamping this all down here across the middle. Oh, there it goes the Noah! Fafita dude. He's fast. All right, third big third down. down. Definitely here scared. we go. Oh, Make no. a play. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. it worked. No, it didn't. First, fourth down. A lot on the line here. There we go. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Why was it inaccurate? 21 seconds. Do we have one? Yes, let's go, pick. Justin. What six. am I doing? Come on, we can't score. Oh, <laughs> it's smooth. <laughs> Oh, I love his back. I just point. gave that thing right back. I don't know back. what that is on his back, but oh. it's cool. Mm, yes. There you go. Dime. You let's go, Noah. Third and sixteen. Let's give some. Let's give some cushion out here. Just keep. Keep it all simple. Oh, Noah. Yeah. No. Fourth and sixteen. You need to make that throw. Fourth and forever. Yes. Yes. And yes. Yes. It. No. Let's go. This one's not looking good. Yep. Yep. Just gotta let it fly at Come this out. point. Come ah! on. There's a oh, yes! Guys over here. Incomplete. I was so close. I thought he was going to catch that. Essentially, if I don't convert on this 4th and 11, I think Arizona will have it right back in the red zone. This is it. This could be the game. Yes, Zach! Let's go! And I had a man the across pressure, the middle. Boys. Minute 30 left. A stop here. It's our ball, and we need that. So, 
Can't let you get these two yards. Come on, lads. All hands on Dango, deck. Please. All hands yes, on deck. Yes, yes, swerve. Oh, man. oh so That's it. Close. Second and goal. Another hand. Yeah, to the old Make side. The nope. He's out. Wildcat speed, baby. Looks like year one of the desert duel is headed to a man's way. Congrats, man. Yeah, thank you. It was, it was not easy, but we made it happen. That's all that matters. They said it can't be done. Yes, Pig, let's go, to... Flo That was such a bad go, pass. Justin. Oh, my god. You were gosh. a five-star recruit. You went to Oregon, then you transferred to Arizona. People call you a failure. Only brings a tackle into the end. Tony wants it. Oh, my God. Let's go, boys. Look at that second half. Oh, outscored 21 is nothing. That's beautiful. Unanswered. Eesh. Well, after that game against Mr. Sponge, I thought that Noah would have had an awesome season, but we did lose a lot. 29 to 10, definitely something we could build off of. He's only a sophomore, too, so we got to keep that in mind. We actually ran the ball pretty well, but Quali Conley is a senior, so... Oh, man, we actually threw the ball pretty well as well. I wish that Terrio or Tateria McMillan would have gotten more receptions, but maybe next year if we convince him to come back. And then defensively, yeah, we just sucked on this side, bro. No interceptions, really. Not many TFLs. Not a shocker that we average giving up like 30 points per game. But I'll be honest, I was thinking about firing both of our coordinators, but I don't think I'm going to. Level 20 and level 23, we can work with these, Coach Stan. As for the Kitty Cats, we actually lost a half star in Team Prestige, so that is depression. And Tateria McMillan's going to the draft, so is Takario Davis. I mean, we only have four persuasions. I feel like the smartest thing is to try and convince some of these transfers because there's really no chance of convincing those kids that are going in the first round so we'll see if we can get any of these guys to stay for another season there we go we convinced one guy we did not convince another is that really it just one oh we got two and we still have two left i don't know why but they gave us some persuasions back that was weird all right we'll see if maybe we can get to carry that would be huge come on no. I guess that's what Coach Stanton's good for, is that convincing stuff. But honestly, some of these graduates are not that great. I think the biggest losses are definitely those two first-round draft picks, Takario and Tatario. As for Coach Stanton, the defense was so horrendous last year. We're going to upgrade defensive line at Tier 2 for recruiter and then linebacker as well to try and get some better players in the program. Yeah, we're just going after a bunch of transfers. I don't think we're going to get all these guys, but I feel like we should be able to get at least like eight or so. We ended up picking up this guy that looks like he got melted by the sun. We also got another guy that looks like he got melted by the sun. But honestly, we missed out on more transfers than we actually got. We missed out on this four-star transfer, too. So I don't think we did as good as I was hoping, but it's not horrible. We finished with a top 50 class in year one. We could only recruit in Arizona and, of course, Rhode Island, who had no recruits. So all in all, I don't think it was that bad. As for Coach Stanton, he's only got 10 points, which is kind of sucky. It's fine, though. We're going to get quarterback to tier two. And then let's do defense again, secondary to tier two as well. For Arizona State, the end-of-season stats are here. Sam, leave it more like leave him in two. Tucson, Arizona. I was not a fan of the 2,400 yards, 19 touchdowns, 12 ends. Brutal stuff. You can't see it now, but the running back we used to have, he took off and left for the portal. And at the end of the season, going into the next, it's clear we're going to have a new batch of receivers. Was impressed with Clayton Smith in his junior season, racking up 10 sacks on the line, but not enough defensive pressure in the secondary, only two takeaways. And yeah, what can go wrong will go wrong. I had a little oopsies in the recording. It uh, kind of messed up the screen. I was recording, so I'm kind of jumping in and catching y'all back up on some of the things you missed. You didn't miss much on the recruiting front. We only landed one three-star player, and then we used the rest of our points to get some high schoolers. We had a middle of the pack 70 overall top class, which was about 20 or 30 spots beneath our rival Arizona. But now looking at the team surprisingly maintaining their three-star prestige after a two-win atrocious year, we get to see some new players make their mark in the upcoming season, young sophomore receivers. In the star of the show, Marcus Din Doug. Douglas, 89 overall tight end. I don't know where he just came from. The thing that excites me most about the defense are the cornerbacks. The secondary has a bunch of redshirt freshmen, all low and mid 70 overall. Give them a year or two. I think they might be able to blossom into something special. As for Coach Chad himself, we somehow got 30 ability points. So we just spread it across the rest of these recruiting panels. Not all the way there yet, but we're getting there. Going over to the Kitty Cats, the team's still just an 81 overall, losing those two first round draft picks. Definitely hurt, but at least Noah's back for us at quarterback. He's up to a 91 2 Heisman. I'm calling it right now. Probably won't happen, but I'm going to hold out hope. And then defensively, Trey Smith looks pretty solid as well as Sterling Lane the second. So I really hope the defense can take a step in the right direction because the offense was definitely good enough last year. Now that we've made it to the offseason, it's time for another mini game. Taking a step away from our rebuild, we're going to play a quick game of rock paper scissors to determine who gets five additional attribute points to play with on their roster for the next season tam man you ready yee let's get this show on the road all right man i'm about to take my pick all right cool beans i've already got mine taken baby oh, <laughs> oh. 
Best of three here. There we go. Oh, he got me. There we go. Let's see what he goes with on the next. <laughs> no. <laughs> no way. Let's go, baby. Oh, man. Yes, sir. Rock. It's a cheat code. There's no way he does it. Yeah. Okay. okay. What does he do? Oh, Ooh, another time. Okay. All right. Great mind stake alike. Can I come back from a 2-0 deficit? Round six. Oh, yes, there's spicy. one. All right. Round seven. This is intense. Oh, another Ooh, time. Tie. Let's do this. Oh. We keep going. I mean, we've tied more than we've gotten. Somebody something, <laughs> pick something else. Hmm. Yes! Oh, man. Yes! Let's go. Three to one. <laughs> Give me those five points, baby. All right. Tamman's got five extra points, bringing his total to 15. And now he'll get to spread that across his roster. As rough as this Sun Devils team was last year, we are making a second year leap. Our best recruit, Earl Sims, four star, looks like an impact guy going forward. Talk about second year leaps when you get a guy like Keontes Bradley. The team's fate are still in Sam Leavitt's hands. As behind him, Jeff Sims, a senior, is the only other one. Arizona's State just set up the recruiting board, found some gem players, D Biggs, four star, 95 speed. Fanal Kwan looks solid at right guard. And then a cast of three star gems like Robert Watford, Nick Cortez, and others. As you can tell, our rival U of A is on the list for a lot of these dudes. As for my recruiting board, it is quite the pain to the human eye. I mean, there are so many busts in Arizona, man. At least there is one three star in Rhode Island, Lane G, but this three star Juco, I don't really like going after junior Jucos. So I'm not even going to waste my time on this Jameson and good and kid but at least it looks like there's a lot more three-star prospects to choose from in arizona it's just unfortunately most of them are bust like i said so not exactly ideal on the docket for us this season though we got the rainbow warriors the foxes again georgia state so pretty easy non-con then we got two bye weeks and then we get into the gauntlet we just gotta try and win more games in the big 12 it's really not any ranked teams besides oklahoma state so the schedule's not that daunting we should start off the season one and oh taking on air force before facing familiar foe mississippi state and texas state once again big 12 play as tough as ever before of course getting down to the territorial cup against u of a our last game of the season the big 2-0 we already have as many wins as we did all last season that's right air force and mississippi state all by way of the sun devils as for coach stan we lost to the rainbow warriors very very unsettling for the rest of the season to be honest with you we've had two close games against two teams that suck at least we bounced back and beat the foxes but i'm not very encouraged by what i'm seeing right now the good news is we actually beat out Arizona State Mr. Sponge for a three-star gem cornerback from right here in Arizona and we're also gonna get this George Balducci kid who's a three-star gem so I'm feeling pretty good about things on the trail and we also actually found a kid from Rhode Island that's a three-star gem Lane G he's actually a kid that we can recruit and feel happy about getting so I think this recruiting class it's shaping up to be a little bit better than the one last year so far it's important we start narrowing in on the guys we want here in the recruiting portal or else we'll lose them like we did to big schools just last year I'm really digging this D Biggs guy out of Sarasota, Florida. He's a gem, 95 speed. Definitely use this shifty dude on offense. Battling it out here against Big Blue for Milton Grubber. I see U of A creeping in on Fanal Quan, so I need to make sure we can maintain a lead. But yeah, all in all, good mix of three and four stars. Definitely keeping an eye on it. Need to make sure we sustain and win these guys over early. Good times don't last forever when we lose to Texas State, West Virginia, Texas Tech, all these ranked teams. But I'm impressed by our team's resolve. I mean, we lost by one point here and when we do lose like we just did to utah it's within two so one possession games maybe we're on the brink of figuring something out these for the kitty cats though have taken a complete 180 we actually went on a four game winning streak taking out oklahoma state i mean none of these teams are great we beat the mormons and then we lost to a team that's actually decent iowa state so clearly we're just beating up on the crap so i can't really complain with that it's not the end of the world though because that is the only recruitment that i believe we lost to mr sponge you finished in second place for a few kids our arizona presence has been very very strong strong kind of has to be we also picked up the one kid that was actually good from rhode island so very happy about that lane g but as you guys know missed out on the four-star gem for now Kwan, definitely depression there <sighs> you want to do coach points Yeah, you'll just, you might have to flip the order or whatever. But you can do that when you edit. So whatever makes sense. So now Coach Stanton actually has 20 coach points. Let's not mess around. Let's get this receiver to tier two for recruiter. And then we're going to go defensively still. Because I feel like that's definitely our weakness right now. Secondary, linebacker, and then we'll do defensive line to tier three as well. 
After the 4-4 four and four start, it's looking a lot sunnier here on the recruiting front. D. Biggs, the main highlight, four-star gem, 95 speed receiver. He's definitely going to be stretching out the defense in the desert duel. On top of that, we got six other guys. For now, Quan, he broke U of A fans' hearts in Tan Man. He cannot get over the fact that this guy out of Gilbert, Arizona, chose the Sun Devils. As for Mr. Butters, only 10 points to work with. So let's keep pumping what we've already started, recruiting, recruiting, and recruiting. Some of those one to two point losses earlier on, look what I'm talking about. Trust the process. Now we're winning by one to two points. We beat CU, Mr. Primetime, 40 to 38. Iowa State, 24-21 and then squeaked past Baylor before taking on this desert duel in the Territorial Cup against U of A. As for Coach Stan, I mean, we ended the season strong. We did lose to Coach Prime. It was a little bit of a hiccup, but we bounced back, beat Cincinnati 32-5, to which I think is the first time I've ever seen that score in my entire life. So pretty bizarre stuff there. But before we get into this game, I completely forgot to update you guys on this kid that I used all my 15 points for. Jimmy Costanzo, right tackle, freshman. I feel like that's building for the future, so I'm pretty happy about making his run blocking a 77. And to determine who gets 10 more attribute points, will it be Tamman again or King Sponge? This is the challenge in our 1v1 game. It looks like Rumble Royale. Rumble Royale is simple. We can only call rush plays for the entirety of the game. Forks up, baby. Sun Devil territory. U of A's traveling on the road. We got to redeem ourselves from last year. That's for sure. Yeah, fear level for us right now, Wildcats, it's it's very, very low. We own this robbery. Simple as that. For now, once we bring in this class I showed y'all, it's going to be wraps for Mr. Tan Man. So a shanked kickoff there gets us into good position. It's a run-only attack today, remember, so we have to predictably pound it up the middle. Let's see if we can catch him napping, folks. You know the rules. I can't pass. Let's see if leviet has got some legs. Get around. Come Get on. Around. <laughs> Fumble. Oh, that would have been great. Fourth and seven, you know. I don't know. I probably should be punting this thing, but... <laughs> Yes! Okay. I think it might come down to who gets a fumble, seriously. That might be oh, it. man. Oh, oh, there we go. A little gas. Okay. Here we go, baby. Come on now. Let's see First, how this works. First, pretty much come to on. get points is like taking this thing. Oh, wow. Oh! oh! So, seven and four season for both of us. I think this is a good year two turnaround. Oh, yeah, definitely. We're about to be eight and four, though. That's the hope. Come on. Yeah, <laughs> not, not. Oh, oh, no! Let's go. Dude, that's, oh, that's so that's bad. That's about. literally the worst thing that could have happened. Come on, oh, Sam. Okay. Come on, Sam. There we go. Fumble. <laughs> that would have been nice. All right, we got to call timeout. We got to see if we can move the ball oh, somehow. Man. Yeah, I'm just going to punt this for sure. Back in the Wildcat, oh, Johnson. Where's Fafita, man? Oh. Oh, oh, uh oh. Oh, oh, no, that was it. That was it. Oh, that was it. I, I should have made a, a groovy move right there. Again. Oh, maybe what? again. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, 55 yarder inbound. It's just <laughs> not even close. <laughs> zero, zero, halftime. Where's he going? I don't think this is going to work. I really don't. But I'm gonna <laughs> Get oh, him. maybe spin. Oh, let's go ahead and sling that thing to the left. Follow the blocks. Someone hold that receiver. Just there we go. Wow. There it is. Yeah, <laughs> blew it up, baby. Right through the middle. Here you go, sir. Do oh, wait. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yes. Get around. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. No. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> I had to take a risk. It didn't pay off. This offense was not moving one bit. Dang, that's going to move, though. To the outside. To the outside. First down. Oh, so close. All right, this one should be a lot easier, right? Than the Come on, please. I need it. Yard. Oh. Come on. No. Oh. No. <laughs> All right. OT 00. zero. Ooh. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh. No oh. way. Oh. oh, no way. Oh. No way. <laughs> Let's go. Give me a baby. I don't think I like this call, but we're calling it anyway. Let's try it out. Yeah. No. <laughs> Let's not try that out again. No, nah, don't don't recommend it. Get oh, through. No. Oh, yeah. no. Oh, no. that's okay. bad. Third and seven. Big call to the right. Oh, Stretch no. it outside. Oh, Get no. around. No. Corner. No. No. Touchdown. <laughs> Let's go. Sending it. Here we go. It's winding down. Oh, no. That's yeah, we right. blew it up. Let's go. Give me it, baby. Yes, sir. Come on, boys. Oh, man. What a thriller there, no T. So now we got 10 points to use, and I went with Costanza once again. We're going run block finesse. That's up to a 65. His run blocking is just not great. So slowly but surely, hopefully, he can keep getting this off. As for me on the trail, we picked up a few new commits, but some of these kids are three-star boss. But beggars can't really be choosers. We only have two states to recruit from, and one of them basically has no population. So, yeah, it's kind of sucky, but we're going to get all these guys that we have on our board right now. For Coach Stan and the Kitty Cats, we won the Alba Bowl, so we finished 
nine and four. I am very, very happy with this progress, man. That's for sure. I mean, we outgained Wisconsin. We ran the ball all over them as well. I mean, that's a recipe for success. How did Mr. Noah do? He built an arc, man. Three touchdowns, one interception. I mean... Wasn't the most efficient performance, but this kid is definitely a baller. Not too many additions since we last checked in on our Arizona State commits. Just want to highlight the fact that we've worked our way up to the 19th best class in early National Signing Day with seven four stars, ten three stars. So Tan Man does me dirty first. I lose seven to six to him in overtime, and then we jump into the bowl game. It was the Texas Bowl against Florida, and we lose by one point, 39 to 38, Arizona State is just on the cusp, but not quite enough. Sam, leave it, left it out on the field, four touchdown passes to one in, not too bad of a game. And two big interceptions from senior Miles Rouser. That was his final game. So what a way to go out. Just sad we couldn't get him the win. End of year two, we got a nice half-star bump in the prestige. Love to see that, but look at the players leaving. We got our group of five. We can go ahead and try to persuade all of them, but very high chance for NFL bound Raleek Brown running back. Let's go ahead and persuade him to stay. Yes, sir. Hendricks, success on a low chance. Nice. And then Petrie, success. Can we just keep them all? Three for three. Four for four. Let's go for five for five. Beasley staying. We didn't lose a single one. Besides the seniors that were already graduating. And one NFL bound tight end in Markston Douglas. As for things for us, we convinced Malachi Riley to come back, which was very clutch of Coach Stan. We're also using Justin Floyd, though, who got a couple of user picks against Mr. Sponge a couple of years ago. So going to miss him. And then Jacob's getting drafted. So is Jonah. I mean, we're definitely losing some draft picks and some talent. There's no doubt about that. It's a sizzling hot transfer portal. Two four stars. That's much better than... Than last year even though we only have access to like five guys we're gonna go for mainly these three targets you see notably keanu and grant bucky arizona's right on our tail i've had enough of these duels in the deserts it's time we finally get a win butter me up 50 more points we're gonna finish off the recruiting archetype finally i've been just laboring away at this thing forever, it feels like. 15 remaining points, 10 left to unlock Tactician, and then we'll go ahead and slap five on our quarterback. For us, we actually have like five or six four-star transfers that we can try and bring in, and we have a boatload of three-stars as well that are definitely better than some of the recruits we have. So I'm gonna try and get as many of these guys as possible. Whoa, I did not expect to pick up every single soldier. Oh yes, let's go. Definitely reloading in the portal. We are using it to our advantage because we can recruit anybody in the portal. It doesn't matter if they're in Rhode Island or if they're in Arizona. Coach Stan does not discriminate when it comes to the off-season transfer portal, man. There are a lot of good players that we are picking up. Some elite development traits too. Yep, this is exciting stuff. I feel like this class is definitely way better than the one last year. And it proves. I mean, our recruiting class finished 32nd, you know, a couple of spots behind Mr. Sponge, but it's all right. I still like our haul a lot. I think we did a really stellar job especially in the portal i'm really shocked that we got everybody that we did as for coach stan we got 30 of these bad boys we are nowhere close to maxing out recruiters so we gotta try and get as many of these to tier three as possible and now we got 15 left i think i'm just gonna keep addressing defense i feel like that's kind of our biggest weakness right now so let's go ahead and get all those to tier four kevin the man locket star 75 overall safety we'll take it logan stacy on the defensive line another three star star what's a little concerning to me is that we brought in a lot of four star receivers and only D Biggs had something better than a normal dev trade. Well, unless you're counting JD Cribs, but as you can see, he's at the bottom of the depth chart, like 11th or 12th down there. So this man's going to need an off season. A lot of freshman quarterbacks competing for the job. Ezekiel is going to be one of them, but Jamal Carly Lee is a star dev trade. Patrick Cruz right on his tail too, another star. So we got some options at quarterback. Just give him a year or two. And as you can see, 86 overall, 86 offense, 87 defense as we march into year three. For our year three, we're up to a three and a half star pro. Program. We're also ranked in the preseason top 25, and the roster is pretty old. We got some retirement home similarities, so I don't want to get too excited for the future, but the team this year definitely looks pretty decent. No, Fafita's back once again. Kid's a baller. Shot caller. 20-inch blade with the Impala. I mean, 96 overall, 99 agility. He is a baller. And I'll be honest, I kind of love our receiver when we got AJ Jones, Malachi Riley, who we convinced to come back to school. I mean, there's a lot of depth here, that's for sure. And then defensively, our cornerback room is pretty deep as well. Marquise Groves Killybrew. He's got three names. Arian Parrish, and I'm going to redshirt this TJ Crandall kid since he's not going to start. And then we got a 
Emmanuel down here as well as Jalen's. There's definitely some good depth here. But I think the most encouraging sign is that Anthony Lacombo, our best recruit in the first season, is already up to an 80 overall. He started as a 74. This kid is definitely going to be our best player in a few years. Before we can jump into year three, as you saw in the last season, we had to play a mini game challenge to determine who gets extra bonus attribute points. Tan Man won rock, paper, scissors, but it's time I get redemption at Hangman. So what I've done, I've chosen a word. We're choosing college football mascots. Tan Man's going to have his share of guesses to get it in time. If he doesn't, I get attribute bonus points and then we'll flip. Tan Man will choose a mascot, I guess. And if he stumps me, he gets more points. All right, Tan Man, you ready? Yep. Let's rock and roll. All right. Let her rip. What's your first guess? Uh, this is always the toughest letter, one. Yeah. I feel like you got to go with a vowel. We're going to go E. One E. Uh -huh. hmm, good start. Honestly, I don't know why. I'm feeling an S. Dang Let's it. find out. It's awkward. There's no S. Okay. Oh. I think there's another vowel. We're going to go I. Ladies and gentlemen, let's reveal. There is an I. I really thought there was going to be an S, so I'm kind of scared now. I I'm, I'm feeling R. Yup. <clears throat> He's on to something, folks. We already got two vowels. I feel like we're flirting with fire if we go for a third. But you know what? I was never a person who didn't like to take a risk. A, let's go! There is an A. Let's go, baby. Are we sure it's not Raby? I think I'm gonna roll with D. D well, as in Dingleberry. Let's see. No. I have a weird feeling about M. Here we go. A leg. No M. Oof. You know what? Screw it. We're gonna go T. T, drum roll, another leg. I don't know why, I feel like P has gotta be in here somewhere. Oh, have you started to narrow down on it? No, I still don't have a down? clue. I still don't have a clue what it could be. <laughs> I feel like I have enough here to figure it out, but I'm an idiot, so I I'm missing something. <laughs> oh wait, no, Ralphie. Yes, let's go! IQ level is higher than 67. I don't care what that IQ test told Dang. me. Let's go. All right. So, yeah, I think vowels to play off the rip. Let's A's go, got to be in there. Come on now. Dang. Give me those okay. extra points. That I need one them. right down the middle. I mean, Y is kind of interesting. Nope. Dang, I was quick on the draw there. Right, let's go E. Yeah, okay, okay. Something's <laughs> telling me there was a P in Ralphie. There's got to be a P in this one. Oh, no way. Okay. R. Ah, that's pretty good. Let's go R. Nope. Let's just go right next to an S. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Pegasus, right? Pegasus? That's That's got to be it. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. We out here. So we both get points. In the first offseason, Tan Man won five points for the mini game. Each year thereafter, we win an additional five points. So since we both won Hangman, we have 10 attribute points to work with. All right. So for my 10 points here at Arizona State, we're going to give it all to Jamal. 69 overall. I hope to see that thing bump up a little bit more. Let's spread the love. Five points to throw power and then five points to speed. So he's got 90 speed, 95 throw power, which brings him up nicely to 71 overall as for us mr jimmy costanzo is once again where we're spending our points and i went 10 strength so hopefully him being bigger and stronger should help him out a lot as for the recruiting board this year my gosh we need receivers so bad we need four of those we also see offensive line pretty bad and then oh my goodness corner so there's some pretty glare needs on the trail for us this cycle the good news is arizona by far is the best it's been this entire video there are a crap ton of four stars we can get in a boatload of three stars there's not that many bust either so i think this has the potential to be the best recruiting class of the video by far. This is the year the tide is turning for the Forks, man. Five-star gem Pat Holton out of Pensacola, Florida. I mean, just check this guy out. 95 speed, 81 zone, 92 agility. Just straight out of high school. I mean, what a stud. For the rest of my board, I littered them with four stars. Gems included like Larry Stanford, Ramen Bermudez, Tim Gills. This guy's especially special. 98 speed corner. The Florida board was red hot. Lots of gems. Most of them came out of there for me. And as you heard from Tan Man, I mean, Arizona's also a pretty chill spot to go snag some guys. So now that Arizona State's on their winning ways, maybe we can go grab some of them. Top of the Big 12 in the preseason, it's Kansas State. The Wildcats seem to always find a way. West Virginia behind them. And then we don't talk about that school out of Tucson, predicted to finish third. Fifth, Arizona State, we're underrated, we're underdogs, we're coming for the top. And for Noah Fafita, the expectations are incredibly high. Not only is he at 96, he is also preseason the Heisman favorite ahead of Jeremiah Smith. So high expectations, but I think the kid can live up to him. Two in two in the young season. Bowling Green whipped us in shape, dropped one to Texas A&M. Both one possession games. Then we took out our frustration on Hawaii. Something, I gotta say, U of A couldn't do the other year. Then after the bye week, we took care of business against 
against Oklahoma State 41-7. We may have lost to the Rainbow Warriors last year, but new year, new us, and we spanked Texas A&M, the team that Mr. Sponge lost to, so transitive property would say that we're going to be favorites going into that game in the final week of the regular season. We did lose to Florida, though, but Gators, they like to chomp. That's an okay loss. We actually beat undefeated Utah the week after, so I'm feeling pretty good about what's going on in the field right now. Something Mr. Tan Man couldn't do in the recruiting front. Five-star gem, Pat Holton. He's coming home out of Pensacola, Florida. I'm sure he just wishes he had access to this Florida pipeline. I mean, look at this. Another four-star gem. Another one. We don't need to talk about those two four-star Arizona guys. We also stole out of Tan Man's grasp. But what I'm going to talk about are the two guys I stole from Mr. Sponge grasp. Larry Stanford, four-star gem from Phoenix, and then Henry Vernon, both middle linebackers, big, strong, burly men. They definitely work out in the morning, day, and night. And then these two guys, we did lose, though. So I don't want to talk about them, but holding out hope that Arizona State has a pretty disappointing season, which I think is very possible, and then we'll be able to sneak out and pick them up on signing day. So crossing our fingers there. One last thing I'm confused about is Arizona in the top 25. So this duel in the desert sure is getting toasty up in here. I think forks are going to be rising up soon. It looked a little bleak at first, but how about them Sun Devils on an impressive six-game win streak over ranked opponents? Colorado, Texas Tech gave UCF their only loss, and now it's none other than the duel in the desert, the battle for the Territorial Cup. I got to show Tan Man and U of A that we can actually hang in there and get a dub as for us it is quite the turn for the worst we lost to Cincinnati we lost to Texas Tech we lost to the Mormons again dude the Mormon magic they've had our number this video I mean six and five especially how we started the season taking down ranked Texas A&M is definitely depressing Chad Butters only 10 skill points for how hard he's worked I mean shoot we should have a lot more but that's okay I'll take it and give it to why not the passing game now coach Stan's been getting his hands dirty so he's got 20 of these bad boys just gonna get everything maxed out of tier four that we possibly can it looks like we're just going to be left with offensive line that is still at tier three and you already know the drill by now we have to spin this gameplay wheel to determine how we go about it it's a rookie showcase for game three of the desert duel so the rookie showcase is simple we just got to put our youngest guys into the starting lineup ideally true freshmen wherever they are thrusted into the role here we go first look at carlisle and haywood and all of these guys Yep, out here at receiver. Yep. yep, yep. Flag, baby. <laughs> All <laughs> freshman receivers out here. Oh, we got one come wide. On. It's black. I was going to try and get there. <laughs> Great snag by Caleb. Let's go ahead and abuse this Rhode Island linebacker out here. That's what I'm looking forward to today. Going to just get this one right in front of him. Make him feel it, you know? The beautiful thing is that we got some attribute boost on Carlisle, and he's got 90 speed, 95 throw power. So uh, let's go ahead and make sure Tam Man remembers what he's dealing with here. Yeah. Bobbing one Give over. Me Are you? Oh. Yes, he dropped. All right, well, third and six. We're going to need something big here. Let's go over the middle and take no that way. all day. No what? way. Oh. What? All right, let's go ahead and send it here. Fourth down, over the middle. Get him. Yeah, yes. get him. Oh, my. All right, what's it going to be? What's it going to be? Out to our right. Uh-oh. What? I actually no hit the wrong button. No way. Someone over there. Oh. Guess if we win this game, we're into the bracket after all. Interesting. Let's see if we can make a play on the user. Let's go. No. What do you think of your young guys right now? Got a nice little sneak peek. <laughs> I'm just kind of surprised that we actually got to stop. I was petrified by that. There we go. Run right around him. Yep. Baker spin. Our Still young three-star gem too. king right here. I'm going to take control of him. Let's go ahead. Get the stop against. Oh, no way. Fourth down. Let's go. He's going to audible. What's he going to call? Run play? Nope. Send him out. Okay. Could be a QB keeper still, but. He's chewing a lot of clock to get here. Okay. No way. No way. No. Let's go. Wow. Hey, Tam, man, have you met Hey Wood? Here he is. Going to dump it to him on the screen. He wasn't ready. Hurrying back up. I still got timeouts, so I got to be... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> no. Really had my life flashing before the eyes there. Over the middle. Oh! Get in there. You got to be Uh-oh. Bro. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. Scared yeah, of the big freshie coming there. down on the hit. Oh. Oh. Bouncing around Same. like a potato on a Sunday. Let's go, baby. You ever been in the octagon? This is the octagon of doom right here, man. I'm going to bring it. Yeah, well, yeah. You should join it. <laughs> Some tough running right there from a, a young yep, freshie, man. Yep, 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 yep. He may or may not have took a needle before the game. Cannot confirm <laughs> or deny that. 
There may or may not have been a needle injected into his buttocks. Nah, trust me. All we knew it was it. happening because this U of A team has been sketchy bunch. We've had we've hired guys to sit on the sidelines and watch it happen. So, boom. Oh. Let's go. Your guy's cold. He's not making it look easy out there. I'll tell you that much. Eh, he's fine. I'll take a hot chocolate. He'll be all right. Let's see if he can warm up just a bit. Uh, it's going to be a fourth down. Let's go. All right, let's go ahead and call a little this, a little that, a little this, a little that. Here we go. And we're there. <laughs> oh, what the? You see him bunch up there? No, <laughs> yeah, they on. were dry humping each other. That was weird. <laughs> little play action. Okay. Flag. Oh, flag. Unnecessary roughness defense. Hey. You got to be, be joking. <laughs> I mean, that has to be a joke. Wow. This is crunch time. Here we go. Cross. Here we go. Come on, man. Spin it. Spin it. Oh. Uh, I feel like you're getting a little scared down here, Mr. Sponge. I mean, if it weren't for that extra point, I'm telling you. Thunderbird. Get in. Woo! Oh, no way. Woo. No way. Woo. Go. Ah. I'm going to just take myself Step an interception here. Oh. Swerve. Let's go. Hey, no pressure on this extra point, buddy. Uh, oh, I'm fine. <laughs> one thing I will say, you gave the Sun Devils three timeouts and a minute 20 to work, so... Not scared. Mm. Not scared. Not scared. Not the slightest bit. If anything, you're more likely to go backwards. Got me feeling some type of way with the bluffed pressure. Get it off. Yes. No. Oh, no. Yes. Oh, I picked it. I clicked on to try to pick it. <laughs> X oh, was wide gosh. open, too. That's what I was going towards. That didn't work. Hit that. No way. Hold it. Oh, yes, shoot. Big fourth down here. I'm just gonna let one fly. What? Yes, let's go. Let's go, baby. What? Yes, sir. That was like that's ten yard up. separation get there. Get that was actually insane. that's not smart to get six. That's not smart to get six. Third and goal. It's a power option. Yes, let's go. No! Let's go. Yeah, no! <laughs> Criminal right now out there. Yep. Give me up. Oh! You gotta be joking. <laughs> oh! Oh, oh, oh my god. Dude, no way. Not over yet, Tan Man. It's not over yet. Oh, shoot. I just did a regular user. Yes! <laughs> I almost choked it, then you choked it. I mean, this is a choke job left and right. Let's go, baby. Who wants a yes. choke job in this one, man? Oh, my gosh. Well, I'll tell you what. You know that playoff that you were hoping to make? Sorry, it's buddy. It's not happening. Ain't happening. <laughs> Ain't happening, buddy. Let's go. Thanks to Come these on, guys, boys. man. Sheesh. <laughs> yep. You saw the sad and bad news. We lost another one to Tan Man. But there's good news. We're on the door getting into the Big 12 championship game against UCF. Before I get there, I want to show you some of our best recruits of the season. We got a lot of four stars and that five-star jam I mentioned earlier. So this class is loaded. Currently sitting as the eighth best class. We feel pretty good about our guys. So at least we're winning in this department thanks to our Florida pipeline. As for us, there's not really much to update. We picked up some more three-star gems that I'm happy about, but yeah, this class is definitely limited by the whole state thing. There's not a single guy in Rhode Island that was even worth going after. So, I mean, we still have a good class, at least in my opinion. We're inside the top 20 right at 15, so I'm not really upset with how we've done on the trail. Yeah, it's been impressive what Tan Man's been able to do with, you know, Rhode Island. <laughs> That's probably one of the worst states, you know, so he's been pretty much in just Arizona. So that's been pretty good to see over there. And as you see in front of us, UCF, Arizona State, if we win the Big 12 championship game, we might actually have that dream still alive after all in the playoffs. <laughs> there it is, the illustrious Big 12 trophy, UCF ready to charge in here. They only have one loss on the season and that was against us, if you recall earlier in the year ranked third in the nation this team is definitely legit we're on defense first here looking to make a stop on third down and we will not how did he just elude our two de's right there what third and seven within the 10 after he just escaped like houdini they score a touchdown sam leave it back at the helm drove down the field we'll dump this one off underneath the carver he's gonna throw a stiff arm keep running get within the five need to win myself a ball game in this rebuild if it's not against tan man it needs to be here again against UCF. Second quarter action, it's all tied up 7-7. Let's get this thing going. Pound in the stone. What a burst there from three. Crucial third down. Just gonna take a quick dump off here, pick up the first down, keep the chains moving. If we be smart with the clock, maybe we can score and give them no chance to score in return. Looking to have these guys number. We go out to Tyson. Big play. If we can somehow pull off the upset, these guys are gonna be having nightmares about us all off season. Past midfield. Another good catch and 
pass right there for another seven. Looking, looking. We got him on the outside. That's Tyson again. Good secure catch. Doing just what we asked for down to 38 seconds and about to score. Step one is getting into the red zone. And that is a check within the 10 now. Not too pressed for time here. Let's hand it off. Get a few extra yards. Letting it clock down to 10 seconds. And we're gonna get sacked. Ouch. Got enough time here for one more play. And if we don't get it, then yeah, we'll just have to take a field goal. But we got an opportunity to scramble and find him. Tyson could not hold on. And the clock expired. Even worse. Halftime 7-7. Seven, seven. He had it in his hands and then dropped it. At least we get the ball to start second half, but imagine how sweet it would have been to get more points. Final two minutes of the game, practically in the driver's seat. Just need to make a couple smart plays and get our team in position. Seriously, this 35 yard field goal, nothing bigger than this. Good accuracy, decent power, but it's still shanked left. We just miss these all the time. We shank, they make us pay, 14 a piece. Now, it comes down to this final drive. Seriously, a golden opportunity here knocking on our door. Good pass to Sims and another first down. Whitaker, nice catch and run. We're in field goal range. If you saw the last shank, we clearly need to get into a closer position, a better position to set up this kick. Second and four, pressure coming in. Beautiful dump to Carver. I seriously hope 27 yards is enough distance to make the kick. Clock winding down. Let's go ahead and kick this thing right down the middle as the clock expires. That's game. While U of A is currently winning the duel in the desert, we just did something quicker than they were able to, and that should be a playoff berth. Scratch that. Arizona State did not make it because USF was a better record group of five conference champion, and uh, that leaves us without a place. UCF actually still made it in, so I guess... Congrats to them. Just remember your two losses were from us. If I'm going to take it or leave it, I'm taking it. Sam leave it had a great season. 3,600 yards, 35 touchdowns to 10 ints. I mean, a little high on the end there, but you know, I was to blame for a couple of those. On defense here, Salasi Manu, a huge contributor. 14 sacks as a sophomore. Another sophomore on the other end of the edge. It's Maurice Davis, nine to his name. Three ints for Keontes Bradley and two ints for Montana Warren. As for us, if it wasn't for us sucking, Noah Fafita definitely would have won the Heisman. I mean, his stats were absolutely bonkers but he didn't really run the ball that well but it wasn't horrible either receiving wise though Devin Hyatt was a stud he's gonna be back for next year very happy about that but yeah we had a few receivers do pretty well and then the defensive side of the ball we just didn't really get after the passer as much as I would have liked I mean we did get a wow we got a lot of interceptions from Arian Parrish he had five three for Marcus Groves Killebrew and just not that many TFLs man so we gotta get after the passer and get more negative plays so close yet so far a bitter end to the year in Independence Bowl defeat to Wisconsin 2017. Nine and five is the record. Our best year yet, but wow, so much left on the table and what could have been. Sadness over here too. I mean, we lost to North Carolina by eight, so we end the season worse than the year we had last year, Coach Stan. That is not progress. Team is shaping up nicely. No transfers is indicative of that. A couple guys going to the NFL, but all in all, we should be set for another good season. Cannot say the same over here. We lost the kid Grant Bucky. He is going to the portal. That's sucks we're also losing a lot of good players like obviously noah and then wendell i mean we had some really talented guys we just did absolutely nothing with them man it sucks transfer portal action three four stars and two three stars probably our best batch yet i mean obviously they're staying small but we got some options here that we'll definitely target kind of the same thing for coach stan there's only like five guys to go after but there's some really good players like corbin cotto carter schultz dj lagway i mean every single transfer is a four star besides this three star strong safety so i think we could have a really good transfer portal hall Post-transfer portal, 10th in the nation. We got three of the four four-stars we were going for. Coddle, Sanusi, and Scroller. As for us, though, we lost out to the Pitchforks, the Little Devils, unfortunately, for two guys. It's all right, though. Not the end of the world. We didn't lose everybody. We got DJ. That's my DJ. We picked up Carter Schultz, and we also got Raphael. So we picked up three four-stars during the transfer portal to go along with all the recruits that we signed. I mean, I'm pretty happy with this. It's about as best as we possibly could have done in this situation. I mean, it's once again another top 25 recruiting class. I really can't say I'm upset with that at all whatsoever. Let's go. Here we go. 40 big ones for Chad Butters. So, uh, heck, let's just pound this offense. Let's get him all the points, 
all the bonuses. Not really going to worry about defense too much. And yeah, I think I like this setup. As for me, I feel like Jack got Titanic. I'm kind of broke, so I only got 10 points. I'm going to go offensive line to tier four, and then we don't really have enough to do anything besides going to motivator, since that's kind of Coach Stan's background. So let's get offensive line to tier three as well here. Off season headed into year four. Another mini game, of course, your favorite. It is Tic Tac Toe. Winner gets attribute boosts, and let's get into the game. Oh, I don't like circle though i'm more of an x kind of guy smart placement there yeah i told you i'm a master I, i'm basically a jedi at this that's what a noob would do in this situation this game's over already sorry okay maybe mm. not okay i mean i kind of got you in a pickle <laughs> here so sorry i think this is gonna be a scratch then huh draw i guess we gotta keep going until there's a winner huh hey yeah, okay Feel really good about that placement. Feel really good about that <laughs> placement. Well, I don't think there's anything I can really do. Looks like one of those fidget spinners. How does anyone not draw in this game? <laughs> eh, it's a good question. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do a bigger one. There's a five by five. Maybe that'll help. I don't know. Just start clicking until someone wins, you know? <laughs> oh my <laughs> gosh. All right, whatever. Oh, uh, don't let me get four in a row. Oh. <laughs> oh, you have to get four in a row on this? Yeah. Come on. Oh, let's go. It. Let's go. <laughs> Tan man won that fast paced five second, five by five tic-tac-toe match since we drew on every classic experience before that. So he gets a bonus attribute boost to one of his players or however he wants to spread it. And he also has that game boost from the last time we met up so he can stack these points up pretty quick. I just went with Mr. Costanzo. We did a little bit of speed. We did a little bit of awareness, a little bit of run block power. I mean, honestly, I've kind of already dug so many points into him. I'm just going to keep doing it for the rest of this video. Since we can't put it into actual players, kind of stick it to my guns with Jimmy is the smart approach. The Arizona and Florida pipeline keep growing and this class is a really good one. I don't think I have a single three Three star on my board, all fours and a couple fives, led by Tyler Fazande here. He is interested in the forks as his number one interest out of Phoenix, Arizona. Solid looking right tackle, six foot seven. We'll show him a good time in Tempe. Handful of other gems to keep an eye out for. I'm feeling really good about this year and next to make a push. As for us, it's kind of slim pickings. I mean, the good news is there's actually two three stars out of Rhode Island, so we could expand our board two times this entire video. So happy about that. But all the Arizona kids that are halfway decent, I'm sure Mr. Sponge is going to try and battle us for. So yeah, it's not exactly the most ideal situation, especially with all these busts I'm looking at. So, yeah, I'm not feeling too great this year. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, you know, things were pretty murky early on. We lost to Colorado State. I don't want to talk about it. We also lost to Ohio State. Don't want to talk about that either. Let's talk about the wins, baby. And we won a lot. 62-7 to over the Cougars. I mean, we also lost to Utah, too. But every win we had was pretty convincing for the most part so i'm just kind of confused what happened during these losses for coach stan he's got 30 points so let's go ahead and spread some of these wings i'm just gonna get try and get everything to like tier one except for obviously kickers and punters because no offense to those positions we do not care about them at all so nice little spread of everything 10 more points for chad butters let's put it into the tactician of course go ahead and upgrade offensive line and then the running game this time the duel in the desert will be handicapped by the it looks like one play wonder challenge and to explain the one play wonder challenge we can only stick to one play of our choice for the first half and then it's a free game after that in a second forks up temp eats time let's go take lagway to the back way and get him a welcome to arizona state all right sam leave it leave it out in the field man you're a senior so uh we gotta go to work there we go. Yes, pick! <laughs> INC6. Please, I need it. I need it. Oh! All right, you've chosen your one play. I hope it's and, a good one. Better than yeah, mine. This is, uh, yeah, I feel pretty good about this play, I'll be honest. I think this has got some nice, uh, what's it called? Oh, okay. Well, not right there. All right, so he's going to use his audible on the running back, and that is legal. Legal play. Oh, wow. Yes, okay. Yes. 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 No way. Swerve it? Yes. Navigating his way through the massive stadium pulse. I don't know if he can get on the same page over here. He's clamped. There's no way. Mr. Lagway. Oh, Let's what? go! DJ. There we go. Way to get under there, Sims. Well, that's a tackle. That's fine. It's a TFL. We can live with that. He's trying to leave it all out on the field because, you know, he has to make a difference here for the Sun Devils. Is he out of there, Sims? Yes, sir. <laughs> down into first and goal. All right. I'm going to get some dudes in motion here. 
yeah, this is your run yeah. to get stuff. Give me. <laughs> Definitely settling for three because, yeah, fourth and goal running the same play over and over. Ugh. Give it some cushion here. Yeah, there we go. Switching up the defense a little. What the lag way is going on here? Yeah, we'll take that. All right, well, let's see him bark again here. Oh, he's just going to take off. <laughs> All right, nice. There we go. Oh, wow. Let's go. Come on, baby. Oh, that's picked, baby. Give me that. No! Let's go. That was too <laughs> That was That was risky. We're starting with a run. Oh, uh, okay, keep it okay. No, there we go. Oh, oh my ooh, goodness. That's stiff arm. Perfect. That means I like it even more because we're all over this, man. It's fine. Fourth I can live down. With that. Another day, another down, another fight. Here we go. Calling up the right thing. Yes, and sir. Just keep the ball out of Arizona's hands. Spoil their opportunity here. That would be rather unfortunate for these guys. Oh. Back with a little play action. Oh, he's so oh, yeah. open. All over that, it. baby. Ooh. He was out there in danger zone, just like he is right here on the... Oh, pick what it. The Let's go. Give me that. Pop in picked. <laughs> Stacked right yeah. side over there. But definitely means there's a lot going left. Yep. I had a feeling. Oh, yeah. He's... Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> you got to be joking. All right. Good luck. Have fun, sir. Need the forks out. Let's clamp. No cats allowed. That pressure is hot on lagway. Let's That's go. It. No! no! Come on, DJ! He was supposed to be the chosen one. Supposed to bring balance to the Wildcats. Yes! Oh! <laughs> oh! What, get what up, baby. the heck? Just, oh! Oh! What? How did you gain yards off that? Just, oh, wow. Up the middle. Inches. Okay. Oh, he knows what's going on. He knows what's coming. Get that. Yes. <laughs> no way. Oh, wow. You didn't even get the good animation. You still got that. Let's just go nice and easy. Oh, I had one. Yes, but big oh. hole. Here we go. I'm ready. I believe I can fly. Yeah. Oh, Give me it, baby. Yeah. Come on! Oh I'm getting soaked up, man. Unbelievable. I think I've choked in, like, all of them. I, maybe there was one you were kind of convincing, but I think I've choked all of them, too. Like, I, I just selling at the end here. So now the Arizona Kitty Cats are in the Big 12 title game. Finally losing our Big 12 championship virginity. We're playing Texas Tech. I'm not feeling great, to be honest, but the way we're playing right now, I should feel a lot better. Well, shoot. We're already down seven. I'm not feeling too confident making this kick either, so uh, we'll see if I can make this. Come on. Accuracy. Beautiful. Let's go. I'm kind of shocking myself right there. We're only down four. We're only down four. I'm feeling confident. X. Please. Nope. Not open. Circle's open, though. Yak it. Yak it. Fight it. Yes. Touchdown it. Touchdown it. Let's go. This is intense. We're tied at 20 in the fourth. I'm not feeling great about our odds of driving the length of the field because high's been difficulty. I'm going to get shedded instantly. See? I freaking knew it. Get out of there. DJ. That's my DJ. It's a first down, though. He's got some speed to him. Probably going to be on the run quite a a lot this drive to be honest with you but honestly maybe we can get a big player here hopefully somebody gets open triangle underneath yes check downs those are fine we'll take those and now we're going to four verticals do i think this is gonna work absolutely not but i'm gonna try it maybe i'll get time to throw x i'm gonna throw it screw it please catch it okay and they got us to a third and five really don't want to punt this ball because i don't know if i'll see it again so someone get open please X, R1, R1, that is, there it is, please, dime, oh my god, DJ, yes, so now since we're already in field goal territory, just do nothing dumb, and we should escape with the Big 12 championship, come on, little jet touch pass, Chico play, CPU does not know how to react to it, yep, in the clear, let's go, I wish we had a faster guy in that, now I'm just gonna try and make sure this is as up the middle as possible for this kick, so let's try and neutralize and centralize this thing, there we go, and now all I need to do is just nail this kick with time winding down, the odds of me missing this are very, very slim and listening to the let it shine playlist I, I i do not see this not going in i told you guardian angel is not missing baby let's go so you're kitty cats wildcats whatever you want to call them we are big 12 champs boys let's freaking go all right all right i gotta give hats off to tan man in arizona got the four seed a buy in the quarterfinals that's great and all but i mean come on now who got the big 12 championship first it was arizona state last year but I, I can't talk i can't talk we had five wins extremely disappointing season so you know what i guess this is where rivalry meets respect Let's go, Arizona. Honestly, getting props from a rival feels pretty weird. Kind of like touching a cactus. So I don't really know how to feel right now. We're playing Oregon, who barely beat Texas State. So maybe this could be easy. I guess we'll see. Yeah, this is not going well. We're down seven already. I don't know if DJ did not drink his pregame fuel, but clearly whatever it was, we need to figure it out. Stat R1, maybe? 
Yes! Oh, no, nope. we got karate chopped. So we got a second and ten. This fake screen wheel play looks pretty cool. Usually these types of things don't work. X? Nope, yeah, it didn't work. I got sacked, of course. So with a third in Uganda, I think we just go to the slip screen. I mean, I, I just want to make sure I at least get a field goal this drive. I don't want to get sacked and I get hit instantly. My gosh, dude, the defensive linemen, what do they take, bro? HGH coursed with steroids? Oh, my gosh. I'm not punting this. There's not a chance. Fourth and 18, I don't care. We're converting this. DJ, come on, manifest this. So we're going to motion out the running back. I feel good about that. That could be a mismatch, potentially. We will see. Going to put him on a deep post and pray. Come on. Someone get open. R1. I'm throwing it over the over the linebacker. Yeah, it did not go over his head at all. He has dreads, too. That guy could get seven. He could get seven. No. Get him. No. No. Please. Yeah. It's not happening. 70, I was hoping would be able to fly across the field. That was not. Okay, yeah, this is bad. Dire situation here. Down 14. I just don't know how to respond other than it just sucks. I mean, it really, really sucks. We need to make sure that, like, maybe throw an interception right here. Come on, get one back. Oh, what the heck was that? How do you do that? Is that even physically possible with nature and humans? I don't know what that was. So we got into a third and seven. Okay, a little motion out of the backfield. I don't know what that is. Hopefully, it's all fake. Yes, throw a pick. Come on, I know it's a... A pass rush! Oh my god. You gotta be joking. The pass rush, dude. Literally so humiliating that that just happened. Oh my goodness gracious. That was on national television too. Oh my gosh. I don't know why, but they have us in goal line. Oh, it actually worked. We got a sack. Let's go. I don't know how we did it, but we got him to a third and goal right here. We might actually have a chance to only hold them to a field goal. I'm not feeling too confident, but there's a chance. Pick! Okay, I don't know who that was. Oh, it's to the fifth row. Okay, that's fine. So they're going to be settling for a field goal. I'm just going to make sure I do safe right here because I've had so many roughing the kickers. Those things are so dumb. Okay, it's fine. Only down 17 at the half. You know, it's not that bad. All things considered. I don't believe it. Oh my. I don't know what happened. I really don't know what we sacrificed during that halftime, but it was something. And they got a conversion. Well, I got too excited too quickly. Dang it. Pick. And they got another first down. This is not going well. Come on, throw a pick. Okay, that's... Yeah, they're just tearing us apart right now. I don't know how this offense hasn't scored in the second half against our defense. Maybe we could bribe them with some Chick-fil-A. I don't know. I'm getting pretty desperate right now. Yes! Oh, my God! It was, it was right there. Literally, if that guy's arms were just a little bit longer, or like the arms of that guy in the Fantastic Four, then that probably would have been picked off, but did not happen. Come on, throw a pick. No! And that's touchdown. All right, well, at least we have a chance to tie or take the lead. That's the good news. Come on, someone. Come on. Triangle. Late. Yes. No, it's picked. Oh my god. I'm so bad. There's no... Well, the dream's dead. Officially. <laughs> Very hard to turn to the next page. Not gonna lie, but we got to, man. DJ is going to the draft. Congratulations, Mr. DJ. And then Levicticus. That is the coolest name I think I may have ever heard in my entire life. His parents or his great-grandparents or something, man. They definitely fought in the Coliseum. And then we got some graduates down here that are pretty decent players too. So we're definitely losing some guys. This guy's name is Rhino. I mean, some of these names are like so sweet. In the portal, Cookus is there and it's time for us to cook him up, bring him in and down. Devin Downing, anyone in our way this next season. As for us in the portal, we definitely got to go hard or go home. Gary Rutherford looks good. Philip Cookus, I like that last name a lot. And the rest of these guys just three-star transfers. But like I said, we can't really be picked. We can actually recruit other states outside of arizona in the portal so we're gonna try and get as many of these guys as humanly possible chad into the off season where do we want to spend his points honestly let's just boost up the secondary and then of course we're gonna need some pressure here defensive line boost to the finesse and block shed will be clutch and coach stan is gonna go ahead and get defensive line to tier three i want some munchers up front we'll try and get some pass rush training results are in some of our boys really took it serious in the weight room as you can see 91 overall 92 defense and then with some attribute boost here i think we'll be squarely 92 93 if you want to round up as tan man says most notably is darren burley our running back with 99 speed a solid receiver room with a mix of experience and underclassmen should hands down be our best year for pressure on the defensive line as well last but not least this secondary is ready to clamp up as for us honestly the team's a higher overall than i think thought it would be we actually have a redshirt freshman tight end Derek Gradkowski. he's got a cool beard he's our second best player somehow so I mean the team's definitely old once again but it's gonna happen every single season with the transfer portal it's been our best friend this video at quarterback though it is gonna be a guy that's actually homegrown Ramon from right here in Arizona he's got a lot of abilities too I mean this kid's got potential he's got four star rating elite development Woo! we might have something here if this kid can catch fire and really progress during the season we could make another run man I could see it it's 
It's also going to help them that our receivers are pretty stellar. I mean, they're old too, so they definitely have a lot of experience. And as you guys saw, our tight ends are really good. We have Anthony over here, and then also Derek. So I'm feeling pretty good up with the offense, and the defense is actually higher overall. So I think everything might be going in the right direction. We'll see. Moving into year five, we have another offseason mini game for bonus points. This time, guess the college football mascot. Okay, well, it's Middle Tennessee State well, that's been diagnosed. I'm going to go, his name's Bronco. He looks like a Bronco. His name Bronco? It's a good guess. It's a good guess, but not quite. Dang it. No. Last but not least, I got one more. Maybe it's up his alley. Maybe it's not, but he's iconic. I don't know why. But weird feeling his name's Larry. Final guess. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's Larry. It looks like a Larry to me. Uh, not quite. It's Otto the Orange out of Syracuse. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Ottawa? Yeah, I wouldn't have guessed that in a million years. That's Canadian. Uh, no chance. I know it's Oklahoma State Cowboys, but I don't know if I know the man's name. I'll give you a hint. What does he hold? Pistol. What pistol. Is so is his name <laughs> Pistol? Yeah, Pistol what? Pistol Pete. <laughs> That's the basketball player. Oh, there I got you it. go. <laughs> and then the last one. Oh. The pretty dragons. Yeah, it's definitely the blazer dragon. Scales? I don't know. Scale? I'll give you a hint. Another one. You already said you already said what it's called. Blazer? blazer. Close. Blaze. I, don't know if I can give that. <laughs> Yep. Bla okay. What do they call them then? Blaze the what? Blaze the dragon. Blaze the dragon. There you go. Okay. You got two. That was impressive. Nah, I'll only count that. one because you you definitely assisted. I mean, you assisted on almost all of them, didn't you? <laughs> but Tammy was friendlier. Yeah, I, gave me hints. Uh, so I say we both win. Let's get one last attribute boost to show it. Since I think I would have got zero if Tammy didn't give me any hints. I mean, I was getting around the bush, but uh, he definitely assisted with some hints. And he also had an unsuccessful mini game. So we'll both go ahead and win together because we both lost together, if that makes sense. The stakes kept going up. It's 20 bonus points for this one. Tan Man has the 10 additional from the previous game. So he gets 30 and we'll go apply it to who we want. My choice is the third string quarterback. He's a lefty. We're gonna do it in style. Number nine's got speed, got good throwing. And this is how we're gonna break it down. I think we're gonna go ahead and put eight points towards speed, 96 speed, eight points to throw power. Now he's at 99 and shoot. You know what? The last four, 99 speed and then bumping awareness up. Left-handed quarterback, Scipio, 99 speed, 99 throw power, 83 overall sophomore or sorry, redshirt freshman going into year five. So my 30 points, now that I can actually improve a quarterback, that's our starter. I went with Ramon, 90 awareness now. He's also got 90 medium throw accuracy boosted and then 93 deep throw accuracy. So he's definitely going to be a stud for us. In this year for destiny, 91 overall, 92 defense like that is by far the best Sun Devil squad I've seen in a long time. But we got a test in Florida, a couple tough non-conference opponents. The Big 12 is, you know, the Big 12. And then the duel in the desert at the end. Wish us luck on this journey. Will it be the team of destiny? As for Coach Stan and I, I'm not feeling too great. I mean, Ramon's obviously really good, but like we got to play Michigan and Nebraska in the non-conference, and we're only an 88 overall. I mean, it's definitely the best team of the video, but I don't know if that's going to replicate to mean wins. So I guess we'll see, but I'm feeling pretty confident we'll at least end the season with a win against Arizona State. It's a surprise to me that two teams here, Arizona State and Arizona, 92 overall, 89 overall, both had only seven wins what is going on some of the best teams in the big 12 just took some unfortunate losses so we'll square off here one last time in the desert this rivalry has been really arizona's way but year five you never know we could go ahead in this classic matchup no rules no stipulations we haven't played a classic and since this is our last hoorah we're just going to have fun with it and see who comes out on top. And then in year six, it'll just be a consolation year to see if anyone, Arizona State or Arizona, based on the hard work we put in, can make it. Easy. Is he going to have an easy time out here today? Oh, what yeah. the? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. broken tackle touch. That would have been epic. Third and 11. This is deep. He's going to go Dude, and again. miss him. Come on, boy. Here it goes. Fourth down. He's going for it. Come on. No, no way. way. Yeah. So it converts over to Carl Lyle. And you know what? Maybe that's why we only have seven wins. The guy I juiced up from winning the games, not even the starting quarterback. So that's a blunder on our end. Bringing in Scipio, the lefty slinger. Got 99 speed, 99 throw power. Let's see it. We got a third and five across midfield. That pressure is going to come in pretty quickly. There we Can't go. Seem to I don't care out if he's it. got 99 speed. I couldn't give a crap. Let's trade fourth down conversion attempts here. Yep. On him. On him. No way. What uh, -uh, the... uh 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 uh. Let's go, boys. Good job, defense. Yeah. I'm not sure how to keep, like, 
conservative on a tackle there. Yep, like, again. Yeah, it's like, how do you, I don't even Fly! know how to, what no! do you do? No! Oh. Yes, thank you. Oh, you got it. Go. Chico player here. Another Chico play. Easy touchdown. Let's go. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It'd be come like on, that, no. huh? Oh, oh, come on. Gills was no, there. Let's go for two. two, baby. No, that was a good play by you. Yes, Gosh, sir. What a recovery. <laughs> what a recovery. We had you early, but we didn't have you late. That's when it mattered. All right. I got to do this at least once, right? Oh, kill him. There we go. Oh, dang it. All right. Two to six a game. Not your average yes. score. Oh. Ouch. Second down. Let's see what he's got. Oh, yeah. Let it rip. No way. He's That's got the sideline. Not a chance. Yeah. And he's what? got it. Verts seem to work on that last one. Uh-oh. Yep. Oh. Wh Wait. Wow. Wait. Wow. Wait for it. Wow. Touchdown. I'm thinking a clamp job right here. Strip, slip screen. Let's strip that ball. Get around. Yes, yeah, sir. Nah, no shot. No shot. That's it. Picked. Caught oh, yeah. it. Oh, okay. I told you. I told you. I freaking told you. And it's covered up, man. Where are you going? Oh, <laughs> okay. That's go. where you're Play going. Maker. Let's go, baby. Give me that. Oh, uh, oh, oh my, my God. Goodness. I love that. We'll Quarterback sneaked out. out. Come First on. and go. It's a guarantee. I mean, that's a touchdown. Like, come on now, bro. Come on, Bobby. Let's go. All right. Let's go ahead and test this, man. Oh, yeah. Give me that. Give there me that. Is. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, we still have a timeout in six seconds. That's plenty of time right here. You are flirting with disaster, my friend. Five, four, no pressure. Oh, yep, oh. yep. DPI. We'll take those. This kicker's not like oh, that. God. Let's get in there. See if <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> I'm not wasting it. I'm not gonna waste a timeout. Really? Let's see. Okay. All right. Let's see if you get it. Let's see. Let's right. see. Yeah, Whoa, there we go. The heck? That was a defensive <laughs> lineman, too. He snagged that thing like it was glued to his hands. What? Here we go. Here's 99 speed running back. Oh. Let's get a look. Wait, what? Oh, well, wrong, way. So... wrong way. Wrong way. So 99 speed quarterback, 99 speed running back. Let's go ahead and work him up. Uh oh. Yep, yep there it is. That's Zayn Candy. Oh, oh come wow. On, please, me, oh, wow. Give me the ball. Get give it. Me, give me, give me. Get Somebody the ball. get it. <laughs> yeah, of course it's the other team. Kill him, though. Get Fumble. Uh, okay, he's going backwards. That's oh, right. man. Third. He's not feeling like it at all. He's like. Yeah, he's feeling not not it. Not like a million bucks. Dude, how, that is not 99 speed, <laughs> folks. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Take yes, off, sir. man. Yes, sir. Oh, my. Yes, sir. Let's just go ahead and send something. You know what I mean? There's 99 speed. You want to see it? Here it is. Right, yeah, there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Oh. Wait a minute. You might add <laughs> something there. What the heck? Let it rip. Let it rip. Second and 15. I'm there. I'm there all the way. You know, Let's I'm go. fine with that. U of A. Got some people. That's picked. That Denying. Plan. Okay, then. Let's yes, see if we can we hit go. the edge. No nope. That's fine. I can nope. live with that. Perfect. Ready? You ready for it? Give me it. Oh, my it? God. Ooh. Nice hit. Oh, oh, I love that hit. Tore him a new one. Bang. There we wow. go. We got him. No way. Not again. Catch yeah. it, bro. He, 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 those are too, 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 too <laughs> tight. Too tight. Three points doesn't do much. We got to go. We got to go. All hands on deck. Here we go. Uh oh. Wait. Don't tell me that big man's gonna outrun you. Oh, ah, we got. I should it. agree with you. Oh, I was so dumb. Just don't be afraid. It's okay. Here we go. Oh. Oh. What? Oh. You never win tackle. <laughs> oh, Dude, what is going? Ooh. Oh my goodness gracious! I don't even know. What I just went. Third and five. We need something. We need this, and we'll take that. That's not if he Top holds on, Are you whoa! Serious? Fourth and two. I've been stuck too many times on the goal line. So many games coming down to this. I don't know what the right thing I is I for I I do. this dude. Okay, I was yes, let's go. What the Fast rush. Come on, oh. boys. Help us over here. What the? He's no let's way, DPI, Give that. bro. Give me that's that. DPI. Let's go. DPI he was who? so clustered into him. Come on, he man. He was clustered yeah, into he him was so riding bad, them. That's man. That's what DBs do, was, baby. They were riding. Come on. They were riding. What a dominant right. win. What's that, 5-0 and oh against the, the, the Devils? It's a good thing, though. I mean, it's a good thing for humanity. Obviously, you want opposite of the Devil to win. So let's go, boys. <laughs> well, I don't really got much to say. Tan Man took care of business. So there's no question about where the rivalry lives. But for national playoff championship hopes, we couldn't get it done in five years. So we failed at that challenge, which is surprising to me given the nature of 
of our teams, 92 overall, and a solid 90 overall for Arizona. Five years of rebuilding, and I don't feel like we did a horrible job, but clearly we needed to win the national championship, and that did not happen. I mean, at least we won the Big 12 in year four, and we had a 10-win season, but still, we lost way too many games, Coach Stan. We're going to jump ahead and see if the sixth year was a charm, since technically we couldn't finish it in time. And what in the heck just happened? Are you kidding me? As soon as Tam Man and I finish up the five-year run in year six, Arizona State 13 and Oh, looks like we were on the precipice after being beat down by U of A for so long. The season was highlighted by star quarterback Jamal here, 36 touchdowns to five ints, decent work on the ground, and a really good season from Blair Murray. Logan Stacy, 13 sacks, 10 and a half for Alex Anzalone. The defensive line has never been a problem. Six ints from Tim Gills, that is out of this world. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but as you can see, 94 overall and not a flaw in the entire resume. Of course, the first time I don't play Tan Man in this user v user game, Arizona State gets the win 35 to 29 before smoking KU in the Big 12 championship game, which means we got a first round by in the playoffs and now a Fiesta Bowl against Miami. Should be the favorite and the home team despite Miami being good, of course. First and goal, we're marching right on down. Carlili is the quarterback of choice after our experiment on the last lefty didn't go so well. Holding Miami's offense to no points right now. It's looking good to cribs hoping we can take it to the crib on this next one another deep bomb to our other star receiver Whittingham hauls it in 94 overall this was the team of destiny after all with 30 seconds left really not much else to see in this one fourth down conversion they got it but like at what cost down 24 i guess it was for their pride because they're gonna have to wait until next year to do it again 31-13 Arizona State now taking on Ohio State in the Rose Bowl another big matchup right on the precipice of the natty 13-13 nail biter this game has been back and forth and now we're into the third quarter relying on the team to get some go-ahead points really impressed with the season Carlisle had especially after he was counted out all last year and he's ready to show his worth here on a big fourth down play looking for the conversion it's in. Little forks up there from the receiver after hauling it. It's good times for Arizona State. Surveying, stepping up, dropped. Third and 15, gonna need to look for someone to dump it to. It's Murray, puts on a spin, filthy work. First and goal, the sure thing is to give it up to the running back, walking it in, touchdown. Ohio State went down the field and scored, so it's 20-20 in the fourth. We have a blow by receiver. He could house call this thing if it's an accurate ball. Not quite a house call, but maybe the next best thing. We can chew clock and look for that go ahead winning field goal in great position. Second and four, one minute to go. There's the first, and we go down. Carlisle has his team in a position to win it all. If we don't fumble. Hello? Unbelievable, that could have been catastrophic. Instead, we'll purposely go down early just so we can chew the rest of the clock. In fact, I'm gonna hand it off one more time to get good position, line it up the middle, perfect. 19 yard chip shot in the Rose Bowl for victory. We got it. Forks up, baby. Sun Devils are going to the national championship game. And this is it. We meet the Ducks, our old former Pac-12 foe in the biggest stage. I know this is still like an extra consolation year six, but it feels good to get to the national championship game and bring home a title to Arizona, bringing glory back to the desert at least from a sun devil perspective because yes yes i give credit where it's due you all saw it the last five years in the five-year window we had to rebuild with tan man he won the challenge but we can get brownie points right here with a big dub just for the funsies there she is the trophy at long last down three zero in the first half here we have an opportunity with limited time to start cooking and that's exactly what we do delivering a dime waking up carlili in the boys first and goal just looking for a quick crosser nothing really panned out but we do have someone in the back of the end zone would have been sicko if he completed that pressure was immense but we'll take this slant instead touchdown another great first and goal opportunity dumping it to coffee couldn't come through for us there so now i'll ask them to do it again here Wow. In the championship, let's just settle for our three points and get back on defense. Wish that worked out really well for the squad. We have 20 seconds to go ahead and get down the field again. 12 seconds left in the half. Let's take a quick strike to Murray. He didn't get in. Inches yard line, QB sneak made too much sense. We're gonna go the hard way. QB power. 
which I'm questioning why we just did that. Get out of bounds. At least he got out of bounds, which saves me from the very questionable play call. I think we can really put Oregon back against their heels if we go ahead and dot them up and get another touchdown and make it two possession going into the fourth. Third and five. Here we go. Over the middle, it's Bullock in between traffic. And here we go up the middle. Ramsey finishing touches 20 to six. Go crazy. One minute and 30 seconds. We can control our destiny here. Up the gut. Haywood, big run. This close from being able to kneel it out. Let's go ahead and seal it with some big, big carries. Third and inches he's got the first down and that's game taking the victory formation kneel down arizona state are national champions in 2030 this is great for the sun devils great for arizona great for the battle in the desert oregon falls by a touchdown it's heartbreaking for them shout out to chad buttering his way through to the natty a big consolation prize because at the end of the day in a rivalry rebuild when we compare one versus the other player versus player i didn't win this player v player rebuild that belongs to tan man we were just able to pick ourselves up in the for fun year six and somehow some way go undefeated all the way through the playoffs and into the natty so that's going to do it for your boy king sponge once again huge shout out to tan man go check his channel out make sure to subscribe and continue to soak it up for more college football 25 content